Ladies and gentlemen, this is a picture of a skull and bones with teeth that represents the Skull and Bones Society. And the eyes of the Skull and Bones, if you'll notice on each eye, there are three horizontal lines on each eye. However, the eye on your left-hand side of the screen has two lines that are closer to one another and appear as if they are blinking or winking. There is a reason for the wink, I'm sure. I don't know what it is, but there is a reason. However, in the other eye, if you could blow it up with a microscope, you would see the pupil of an eye between the second and third line. That is how detailed this pictograph on the reverse of the $1 bill is. This is the picture of the Skull and Bones that represents the Skull and Bones Society that I say was created at, as part of the pictographs that form the head of a hog-nosed bat. And this is the head of a hog-nosed bat. And inside this circle are the eyes and then you see the nose which was immediately before the skull and bones. This is part of the most complex pictograph that has ever been created in the history of this world. And that is why I say an alien race of beings or a remnant society that created Atlantis and much further back the Mayans, the Incas, and the Aztecs created this pictography in the same respect that they created the petroglyphs and hieroglyphs from the Great Pyramid in Giza and all the other pyramidal cultures on this planet. <clears throat> now what you see is an outline of the underside of the bat's wings. An outline of the underside of the bat's wings. This being the nose of the hog-nosed bat, this being one eye, this being the other eye. If you were to invert this, you would see a characterization of an owl. Now I'm going to prove to you that this is on the one dollar bill by backing all the way up so that this camera will focus properly and then I'm going to put a real one dollar bill in front of your face and then I'm going to back that one dollar bill off so that when I take the tape off the dollar bill you will see that this is nothing more or less than a regular one dollar bill that's right ladies and gentlemen this is a one dollar bill with one simple fold like this you can do this in the privacy of your own home or at a bar while someone is throwing peanuts at you and make money ladies and gentlemen it's not a bar trick on the opposite side then you can bet them some more money gentlemen's bet of course that there is a caricature of an owl on the opposing side of the bat now you'll have to refold it of course but the characterization of the horned owl is also on the reverse and when you back it off you can see the wings of the owl also hovering upon the seed pods that I call the evil seed of death with the eagle and the nuclear detonation in it on your right side of the screen and it is a nuclear detonation because if you were to go online and look up a nuclear detonation you would see fissionable products expanding exponentially with a concussion ring immediately around the expanding nuclear fissionable particles and then immediately to the outside of the concussion ring you have the flash of light that is a nuclear detonation on the left side of the screen this is a radiance caused of course by what we perceive to be the sun although this is not the sun this is what we call in my world Fazagami and this is a radiance from a portal that leads directly to the energy that created the thought process that is this universe. 
And that's right, you heard it here first. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to look up at the top of your screen when I bring this back, you'll see a placard at the top of the screen that says that all things in this world are like an illusion and or a dream. And this dream is something that we created inside our illusionary minds. But we will not get into the philosophical aspect of dream or dream interpretations. We are going to stick to the facts. And the facts are that whatever created this one dollar bill had the ability to do so on a scale that the greatest of the NASA scientists that have lived on this planet or Russian scientists that have lived on this planet could not even begin to comprehend the knowledge necessary to create the pictographs that you see on the one dollar bill including this owl that is about to appear before your eyes. This is a caricature of the eyes of the owl that opposes the hog-nosed bat. That is a caricature of the owl that opposes the hog-nosed bat. And there you have the caricature of the owl spreading its wings right and left. And when I review this tape a little bit further, you will see the owl back off and you will see the wings of the owl come into play. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that no human creature in the year 1934 was capable of this form of pictography. Because even if they could actually make the drawings themselves, they couldn't supply the words that are necessary to relate the drawings or pictographs or iconologies, they could not, in no uncircum terms, put the words to the Bible and associate them directly to the pictography that exists on the one dollar bill. Nor could they ever do what I have accomplished and place a perfect characterization of the Ark of the Covenant upon the reverse of the one dollar bill which is every detail that I just spoke to you in my book Angels on the Ark in the most minutia of details and I show you to within one ten thousandth of an inch by utilizing these tools I show you to within one ten thousandth of an inch that the pictography on the reverse of the one dollar bill represents a perfect two scale Ark of the Covenant. That's right ladies and gentlemen this being the Ark of the Covenant itself that was towed through the heavens by the angels that appear on the ends of the Ark of the Covenant as spoken about in the book of Exodus. If anyone on this planet would like to earn 1,000 legitimate dollars, I challenge anyone on this planet to prove that what I just said is not absolute truth. I challenge you to prove me that the pictography that you see before you on your very screen is not an exact replica of the Ark of the Covenant the poles of Shittimwood, the ringlets, the sixth wing seraphim, a representation of the Lord God as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. In the Great Pyramid compass or sphere, what I call the God Pod, represents the first 17 verses of the book of Genesis. I challenge any human being on earth to defy what I just said you get a thousand dollars if you prove me wrong based on the words that are in my book Angels on the Ark. So you can download this book onto your computer for one dollar 
read the book, find the part of the book where I show you that this is a perfect caricature representation to scale of the original Ark of the Covenant given to Moses by what we perceive to be However, when I say perceived to be God, I mean perceived to be God. Because I can tell you unequivocally, ladies and gentlemen, that the gentleman, entity, series of beings, society, remnant race of beings, aliens, or whatever it was that placed these pictographs, including what I call Fazagami, proving that this is a six-wing seraphim, a bullock, an oxen, and the faces of the two beasts that face before and behind. I prove that. I challenge anybody in this world. I will give you a thousand dollars to prove me wrong. Michael Fazio, 123-2012. God day to you all.